I'm leaving for Europe soon and hotels are pretty expensive, but because I have Chase credit card points, I can stay at Hyatt Hotels for zero dollars. Since this will be my first time using Chase credit card points for Hyatt Hotels, I want to go through the entire process to make sure I understand it and so that you can learn from my situation. By the end of this year, I will have over 100 nights in hotels and I wish I knew about this sooner because it could have saved me a lot of money. But it's better late than never, so let's get started started and the first thing that we need to do is transfer our chase points to Hyatt. Of course I could earn Hyatt points directly, those come when you book stays at Hyatt and you pay with cash, or I can have a Hyatt credit card and earn points that way by spending money, but the easiest and best way to earn Hyatt points is actually through earning chase credit card points. I'm not saying the Hyatt credit cards aren't worth it to hold, but if you earn chase points not only can you transfer out those points to Hyatt, but also a ton of other travel partners as well. So because I want to earn Chase Ultimate Rewards Points, there are certain cards that are going to give you this currency. That would be the Freedom Cards, the Sapphire Cards, or the Ink Cards. So in the Freedom family, we have the Freedom Flex and we have the Freedom Unlimited. The Sapphire Cards include the Sapphire Preferred and the Sapphire Reserve. And in the Ink family, these are business cards. There are three cards that are going to earn you these Ultimate Rewards Points. It's going to be the Ink Ink Cash, the Ink Unlimited, and the Ink Preferred. Even though all of these cards earn that transferable currency that we're looking for, you have to have an annual fee card to actually transfer out your points. So that would be from the Sapphire Preferred, the Sapphire Reserve, or the Ink Preferred. The Hyatt Hotel that I want to stay in for three nights is going to cost 12,000 points. And if you transfer out your points from Chase to Hyatt, they transfer at a one-to-one -one ratio, which basically means I need 12,000 Chase points if I want to book this stay. It's a good thing I already have a ton of chase points. These can either come from spending on these specific cards that I've already talked about or from sign up bonuses. That's my number one favorite way to earn chase points fast is by signing up for a new card and hitting the sign up bonus by meeting the minimum spend requirement. And like I already said, I have a ton of chase points so we can move directly to this transfer process. I clicked on my Sapphire Preferred and now I'm going to click on transfer to travel partners and it's going to pull up a whole list of of partners that we can use our chase points and convert them to the airline miles or hotel points that we want. At the top of the screen here, you'll see any bonuses that Chase currently has. You can actually get a better value for your points when you are transferring during a bonus period. Hyatt doesn't have one of these, but that's still okay. Here we have the world of Hyatt screen. It does say the transfer timing is going to be next business day. That's where most of the point transfers are gonna be processed, but it may take up to seven business days days. So make sure if you know you want to stay in a Hyatt, make sure to transfer those over as quick as possible. And that's why I'm doing this at the beginning of the video, because hopefully near the end when we actually book the Hyatt stay, then we will actually have the points in our account. And you also have to remember that once you transfer out your points from Chase to any airline or hotel, you will never get those points back in your Chase account. So make sure that you want to actually use the program that you are transferring your points to. I'm going to click on transfer points and we're going to go to the next screen. Here it says enter your World of Hyatt details and you have to confirm the card user. And I can either transfer my points to my World of Hyatt account or any authorized user that I have on the card. I currently don't have any authorized users on this card, but let's say I want to add my wife. Then once my wife is an authorized user on the Chase Sapphire Preferred, I can now transfer out my points to her Hyatt account. It's asking me to put in my account number, so I'll go over to the Hyatt.com website and I I will copy and paste that number. I already said that I wanted to transfer 12,000 points because we're just booking three nights right now, and so that's what I'll put here. It does say points must be transferred in increments of $1,000, and it verifies here transferred points hold a one-to-one -one value, so 12,000 chase points equals 12,000 Hyatt points. Clicking next will pull up step three of three, so we're almost done, and we can go in and review the transfer details. I am moving 12,000 points from the Sapphire Per preferred and there's my new balance and then I will receive 12,000 points into my Hyatt account. I'll click submit and hopefully this transfer is instant.
instant and it shows up in my Hyatt account so that I can book this hotel right now. And just checking on my phone, I got two emails. I got one saying the point transfer is in progress and then less than 30 seconds later, I got another one saying that the transfer is complete. So if I refresh the Hyatt.com website, I'm assuming there's gonna be 12,000 points there. And yep, just like that, there is 12,000 points in the Hyatt account. So let's go book that hotel. The home screen on Hyatt is going to look like this. There's going to be the logo up top and then what you put in, actually I am going to change this to two adults per room because my wife is going to be coming along with me to Europe and then you can put in anything that you want. I am actually going to Krakow, Poland. So that's what I'll put there. And then you can put any dates that you want and then click find hotels. And of course we do wanna be using this feature that says use points. It is extremely nice that it is just right there on the screen instead of having to search for this use points feature. It's just right there. We have one result that is pulled up and actually this is the only Hyatt hotel in all of Poland. Poland is a huge area, but they only have one Hyatt. I think that's pretty cool. And it might be my only opportunity to stay at the only Hyatt in Poland, so why don't I give it a try? It does say rates from 3,500 points per night and average of $60 per night. This is a Hyatt place. It's not gonna be one of the most fancy Hyatts ever in the world, but that is totally okay with me. I'm in a point in my life where I'm trying to travel as much as possible, and so it makes sense to save points or save dollars whenever I can. On the right-hand side of the screen, you have a map here. It, the hotel's not exactly in Old Town Krakow, which I probably want to spend a lot of time but of course this is a refundable room so I'm just gonna book this anyway and if it doesn't work out if I realize it's just too far away then I can always cancel and we'll just book another Hyatt stay at a different point in time the next thing to do is click view rates and it's going to pull up a different menu here it says Hyatt Place Krakow you can view the website right there you can see the reviews and you can see the points calendar we'll get to that in a moment we'll scroll down and there are three options here. Two twin beds, a 24 square meter space. Uh, we have accessible king bed and then we have one king bed with sofa bed. So let's choose the one king bed with sofa option. But before we book that, let's look at the points calendar here. And as you can see, not every night is going to be at 3,500 points. Some of them are going to be off peak at 3,500. Some of them are going to be standard at 5,000 points for one night. And some of them might even be 65 500 points for one night. So let's say you are booking from the 30th of October to November 2nd. You'll see that you're paying 3,500 points for the first night and then 5,000 points for the second, 5,000 points for the third. Let's actually go in and calculate how much this would be if I wasn't spending points. This use points feature right here, we'll turn that off and we'll see all of the available rooms for us here to stay in at this hotel. There's seven rooms and three suites. So the $60 value that we saw when we first found out about this hotel, that is uh, for two twin beds and that is a member's advanced purchase. But we don't want that two twin beds option because I am going with my wife. We'd rather just have one king bed. That seems a lot better in our opinion. So this is the room that we are going to book with points, the one king bed and one sofa bed. And the minimum price that we would spend is $74. And it is going to cost $220 for those three nights. That is what we don't have to pay because we're using points. At the end of this video, I do want to do a cents per point valuation. So I am going to put that $200 $120.40 into my spreadsheet here, but we'll go back and actually book this room and then we'll figure out all the value that we're getting out of this hotel. Okay, so now we'll switch it back to use points and then we'll scroll down and book the hotel room that we wanted. We are gonna do the one king bed here, click select and book. We are getting this three night stay. The first night is the 3,500 points. The second night is 5,000 and the third night is 3,500 for a total of 12 thousand points. With that, let's go click book my stay and hopefully everything goes through just fine. And then we'll head over to the spreadsheet to see how much value we're getting for our points. I just got the confirmation email here on my phone and now we are ready to go to Poland. And now, like I said, I want to calculate the cents per point that I'm getting for this stay. 
so let's head over to the spreadsheet. The cash fare that we talked about earlier was $220.40, and I just have to fill in the rest of this. The points that I used is 12,000 points, and for the points fees, I'm not gonna have to pay anything. There's no extra charge by Hyatt for using points, so $0.00, so that's what I'll put here, and the cash minus the fees is the same amount. Because it's easier for the calculation, I have these cents spent here, 22,040, and the cents per point here that we're getting for our chase points is 1.84 cents per point. But we're not finished yet because Hyatt is currently running a promotion called Hyatt Bonus Journeys. And if you scroll down here on this website, you'll see that three qualifying nights for all members equals 3,000 bonus points that you're going to get at participating hotels. And also, if you have a World of Hyatt credit card, you can get an additional 1,000 bonus points. I don't have the World of Hyatt credit card, either the personal one or the business one, so I'm not going to get 4,000 points, but we're still going to get 3,000 bonus points for spending three nights. And this is just another reason why I wanted to book a Hyatt hotel for this stay. If you want to take advantage of this offer, you have to register by November 10th of 2023, and you have to complete your qualifying nights between October 6th and November 30th of this year. Of course, I understand that most people will not be able to just go stay at a Hyatt right now because of this bonus, but they run a lot of these promotions every now and then. So it's worth checking out to see if Hyatt or any of the other hotel chains have any promotions running at the time when you are going on your trip. So that means that I can add 3,000 under the bonus points field here, and that is going to mean that I'm really only spending 9,000 Hyatt points for this stay. So if you're seeing the situation like I am, the cents per point valuation that I'm getting from my 12,000 chase points is actually 2.45 cents per point. That is pretty crazy for a hotel stay, and it's just so so fantastic that I can do it with the travel dates that I wanted and in the city that I wanted. Just remember if you want to do the same thing and book Hyatt stays with your Chase points, you have to have an annual fee card with Chase, either the Sapphire Preferred, the Sapphire Reserve, or the Ink Preferred. I have referral links in the description for all of these cards if you want to check them out. If you choose to use that link, you are directly supporting this channel and helping me put out better content for you to enjoy. And I hope that you learned some valuable information in this video. If you did, please hit subscribe as I'm trying to hit my first 1,000 subscribers on this channel. And if you want to watch another video about Chase Travel Partners, you can click on this one where I transferred points out to United to book international flights for me and my wife. And I appreciate you for watching it. I'll see you in the next one.